today I'm mucking around with Grand Org as a really useful tweak is to map the um, what do they call it the stops so instead of having to use a mouse um, or a touchpad and click each one you can set it up to use keyboard buttons or whatever sort of input you've got so I thought this was really interesting and I'm glad I found it and um, Okay, so this is how you do it. You go over to, here's the little menu bar. Under audio MIDI, you've got MIDI objects. I hope you can see that. Okay, and down here, you've got all the draw stops. So, um, Principale is, is this, this main one, which um, I can't actually show you how it sounds. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Okay, so that's a standard brassy sort of, not brass, anyway, yeah, you know what I mean? Principle, eight foot. And here, the front page I think is if you've got a special MIDI device with um, extra buttons. Um, I've got a fairly simple MIDI device with, um, it does have buttons, but I don't think they'll be good for this sort of um, managing stops. So I'm using the keyboard instead, and I have number keys. So I've got it set up a shortcut. Um, got it set to multiply and I'm actually pretty happy with that setting right now um, <laughs> I've redone this video like three times and, and I've run out of things to tweak to um, but anyway yes yeah, so you've got the drop down list of all the different um, buttons you can put it to and if you don't want to go through that list it's really good if you click listen for event and just click like H or whatever um, button you want and that way yeah you don't have to go through the whole list okay then you click OK you can do that with all of the different stops. So Flauto Camino um, is is this one, Ot Otava, four foot, is a nice high one. And um, then ones on the other side, so Geo is the Grand Org ones, which is the bottom, bottom manual. And then POS is the top manual. POS probably, you know what it stands for, but for me it says point of sale. Um, but yeah, so I'm not, um, I'm actually learning a lot as I go. Didn't actually do this at university. I did um, computers at university. So, um, and you even got the pedal board down there. You can do the pedal stops. Oh, here they are, up here. So I've got them mapped to um, the big keys on the side, plus and enter. Okay, so when you're all happy with that, um, or yeah, if there's anything you're not sure what it is, there's the trigger button. So um, you can see when I press trigger over here, then over here the um, sub basso thing is triggered so this is pedal sub basso 16 foot makes sense that's the that's what that is so you can map draw stops over to numbers there's other types of settings and I don't know what they all do oh it's stop principale maybe that'll it don't know what it does okay so you can leave it there its status is on good okay so once you've figured all that you've got it all set up it won't actually work straight away yay um, yeah, because he said life was easy. So you go down to file, save, which makes sense, but still won't work. You have to go to reload. And reloading it, ah, oh, you can see my other software. Okay, reloading it means now you'll have all your new settings. Um, yeah, so now you can, you can play your thing. Um, conveniently reach over um what is that to there you go you get sort of get the picture then you can um i think i've got the two manuals thing together so you can pull out all the stops and um fun with your grand org and um, this particular organ is from Piotr um, Grabowski from Poland you can look up Piotr Grabowski I'll put the link in the um, description and um, yeah, it's the it's one of the smaller ones because I've got a old laptop and yeah I want it on my laptop so I can take it to the church and plug it in so yeah you can actually take your laptop plug it into your digital piano if you've got a fancy digital piano and um, rig it up so you can actually use Grand Vogue without having to lug your um, keyboard and um, 
amplifier along with you. Um, but yeah, it's it's great. You can, um, yeah, if you, you're not blessed with a, a church with its own pipe organ, you can take your laptop amplifier and keyboard and maybe a music stand for the music and, um, yeah, bring, um, bring the world of pipe organing to everywhere. Yeah. Um, yes, and you can set it up. So hopefully I'll have that up near the keyboard somehow or I'll have someone else to press buttons for me. And um, yeah, happy Pentecost for tomorrow if you're watching the day before Pentecost. And um, God bless. <laughs>